friends, tonight we are going to talk about the Minnesota e-library system and the fact that they use a data research service called EBSCO. So do uh, most all of the public schools. And I'm going to show you how these research systems do not um, filter out porn. And I'm just gonna dive right in and I'm gonna show you how this is true. So if you look at the screen I'm on right now, I'm at the Minneapolis Public School website. And if we scroll down, uh, we will see they have right here the e-library system. And I'm gonna click on this one because it says e-library MN grades K through five. And I'm gonna show you that when you click on that, it takes you to the e-library system and you see that there's a elementary tab, middle school, high school. So we're on the elementary tab and we're going to, I already have this window open, so I'm gonna to go to it. We're gonna click on Explora Kids. And you can see I'm in Explora. You look up here, it says EBSCO host in the address bar and we're at the e-library system. So I typed in uh, a search term here. It says orgasm. And uh, you can see I'm on the 11th search result. And I'm gonna point out here the 12th search result. Oh yes, I have that page open. This is a separate article, his orgasm, what he's dying to tell you. Okay, um, this isn't appropriate for children. You can just look at the headings on these parts of this article. Hold back the goods tonight and tomorrow, extend your love strokes as long as he can stand it, and then some. Slam dunk him with a quickie. You can see that that's inappropriate. See what's the next page here. This article is the oh yes article. I'll go all the way up to the top here. You have the right to enjoy your body. Here's the latest on finding satisfaction from self pleasure. And you scroll down, it shows a bunch of uh, information, and then it shows different different sex toys here. Remember, I clicked on the Minneapolis Public Schools website, data search for children, kindergarten through fifth grade. Another search term that I pulled up or another article under that search term, the trauma of the chem sex underworld about some soldier na uh, named James Wharton. But I wanna point out to you something over here on the right side of this article Right here, it says GBL is known as the date rape drug. It looks like water in a small amount can wipe out your memory. Like some of his peers, Wharton was raped after passing out from the drug. The, this is, they refer to this as chemsex. There is a chemsex related death every 12 days in London from usually accidental GBL overdoses. It's a problem that Wharton compares to the AIDS epidemic in a book he's written. And then it says, Wharton feels that the stigma attached to chemsex is stopping people from practicing it safely or being able to stop. I'm not sure about you, but I don't think that's appropriate for grade school kids. Let's see what's next here. <clears throat> Another article that came up in the uh, Minneapolis Public School K through five search engine. I typed in sex parties and this is one of the articles that came up. The inside secret world of sex parties. Suburban sex toy get togethers, freak dating, swinging, single and married men and women take us behind closed doors for a look at their surprising turn-ons, welcome to the new frontier of the sexually adventurous. So it, this is about a company that sells 
does home parties, home sex toy parties. Super sexy speed dating is another article in here. With freak dating, you cut to the chase of sexual compatibility, then backtrack to other qualities. And then you see right here, wife swap is another theme in this article. Apart from standard swinger etiquette rules, like always using condoms, nothing is off limits. What do you think, appropriate for grade school? That was at the Minneapolis Public Schools. Now let's take a look at, this is Forest Lake Area Middle School. If you look, I think we have to scroll down right here. You see that media center link right there. All right, if you click on that, it takes you to this page. Welcome to the Forest Lake Area Middle School Media Commons. Go down on the left-hand side where it says here, online research databases. And all of these products, Academic Search Premier, Explora Teen, Mass, Mass Ultra is actually a high school uh, level data search, even though we're in the middle school, and then Middle Search Plus. I guess you better tell the children that there's only some links they can click on there for their research. And go to the next page. So now I'm at the Flash Academic Resources, and right here they have a link. It's over on the left hand side here, too or you can click right here, ELM for you. Here's a little video uh, that tells you how to use the e-library system, but it's kind of odd because the video is from YouTube. It's way, it's years old and e-library system doesn't even look like this anymore. E-library MN looks like this. So remember we were at Forest Lake Middle School. So this time we, we're gonna click on the Explora Teens tab and you can see we're at the EBSCO host eLibrary Minnesota is what's in the URL. I typed in the search engine Explora Teens and I typed in sex positions. Tons of articles came up. This one, seven intimate sex positions that bring you even closer to your partner. So they they talk about all these different positions, however you like it. It says, maybe you think the above moves are perfectly nice, but what really makes you feel so much more in love is submitting to someone else during role play or looking down into their eyes while you do your thing on top or introducing your favorite sex toy into the mix. So that's one article that came up at the middle school. Here's another article that came up in the middle school search. We asked 15 people with vaginas how to make oral sex even better. I don't know about you. Uh, I'm not gonna read it all the next search results. I pulled up the sex position playbook. Uh, so this is another another article. This one, uh, does it say who it, where it's from? Consumer Health Complete it says smart ways to switch it up in the bedroom. Sex shouldn't resemble naked twister. Too much twisting and contorting can leave a woman feeling like a sexless member of Cirque du Soleil. I don't know. Unlike men, women can lose an org orgasm almost in the midst of having one. And then they talk about different positions there. What do you think? You want kids to be able to access this at Forest Lake Middle School in their uh, media center or on their uh, Chromebook if they have those? We did some of our research on a middle school Chromebook and uh, these things are all accessible. I'm gonna show some slides from another school where we went into a high school student account and I'll show you what we pulled up there. Now let's go to 
I guess I have Bloomington here, and I think we went to um, one of the middle schools here. So they have a resources um, tab on their website at Bloomington Public Schools. And we're at Olson Middle School here. And you can see right here at the Media Center Resources Online Databases. So we clicked on that. Again, it takes you back here to eLibrary Minnesota. We're at middle school. We're on that tab and we clicked on Explora Teens. And this time the search term was libido. The 16th search item listed, the female libido unzipped. Okay. I think that's this article. Nope, that's not this one. This one's called Behind Closed Doors, an Exploration of Kinky Sexual Behaviors in Urban, Lesbian, and Bisexual Women. This is the Journal of Sex Research. I'm just going to skip that one. I don't know, maybe you think that's appropriate for your middle school to be able to read that, but pretty sure you won't like this one. Uh, this is called Make It Hot. Hey sis, are you living your best sex life? Women in their 20s, 30s, and 40s reveal their hottest experiences to inspire your next romp between the sheets. Anything goes, keep it casual, shorty swing my way, scream on. Paint outside the lines. We don't have to go into the article because there's worse, but I just wanted to see, let you know that one came up. Here's the female libido. Okay, so I'll just go all the way up to the top so you can see that article, the female libido unzipped. This comes from Cons Consumer Health Complete. So apparently EBSCO thinks that this is appropriate for middle schools uh, students and the e-library system which uses EBSCO is not blocking this. The local schools, in this case, were at Ble Bloomington Olson Middle School, did not block this. Okay, get on the horny highway. This is kind of a long article. It's just got a really graphic text here. And then you scroll down, forever horny, lady boner downer, uh, confusing urges. I'm going to skip ahead because I want you to see random acts of arousal. Oh, yeah. Right here. Watch. It says, what makes this porn different? It's directed by and stars a long-term couple who never show their FES. So it's easy to insert yourself into the action, says Lust. Private Paradise by Nympho Ninjas, $11. And then it has a hot link right here. If you click on the hot link, and so I'm just going to warn you, uh, this next part is not blocked out. And so I'm going to scroll through these pictures rather quickly. I apologize that I didn't take them off and make screenshots of them and then block out some of this. But um, I want you to see these live searches that this is actually what's happening when you pull this up. So that link takes you to Tumblr and you can see it's Nympho Ninjas. And I'm just gonna scroll through and let you see the pictures that are on this Tumblr page that was linked to from Bloomington Middle School using the e-library system and EBSCO. A lot of lesbian uh, nakedness. Other. I don't know what that is. Now you've got bondage, naked bodies, more bondage, naked bodies. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> what do you think appropriate for middle school? Had enough? The 
spanking picture there. Okay, let's move on. That was from the Olson Middle School. Now we are at Ramsey Elementary, Anoka, one of the Anoka Hennepin. And this time we're at an elementary school. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to switch to the next page. I think this shows where we went. We went to under academics. We went to the Library Media Center. Here we are at the Library Media Center. We clicked on this tab, Explore Search, and that took us to this page. On this page, we clicked on e-resources, I believe. E-resources took us to, I'll scroll up, Anoka Hennepin Schools, Media Services. Here you can see they have Explora, that's an EBSCO product. And they have EBSCO Primary Search is supposed to be a, a EBSCO for uh, elementary school. It says magazines, photos, maps about a variety of topics such as endangered species, famous musicians. It says having trouble logging in, go to eLibrary MN. Okay, I don't have the password to log into EBSCO directly from the uh, uh, middle school here. So we clicked on the eLibrary. Again, it takes you to this same search page. And through the elementary, Anoka Elementary School then, I typed in gay sex. So you can see WebSCO, EBHOST, eLibraries in the search bar. I mean the URL address. Uh, we're at Explora, Gay Sex. And the first thing they took you, the very first thing, and this has shown up in multiple elementary schools that I have searched through, uh, lots of articles on, on gay sex and gay, gay uh, marriage, stuff like that. This first one, the very first search term shows up, Davy Wavy's Gay Sex Ed. The YouTube star wants to teach the world about gay sex. I think this is the article. Okay, so if you look at the article, it tells you right at the beginning. So elementary school children are gonna read with nearly 300 million video views in over 160 countries around the world. Davy Wavy has become one of the leading online voices for the queer community. Okay, it goes on to tell you a little bit about him. He's big on YouTube. He uh, says, now the YouTube star is creating a whole new way to experience gay erotica through this website right here, H-I-M-E-R-O-S-T-V. It's down here again, Him Eros TV. Let's go to that link. Here it is. It says, if you are over the age of 18 years old, then you can enter. And if not, don't enter, right? So I'm sure every elementary school child is not going to click that enter button. And I can't click on that enter button because I did. And it shows on the very next page, masturbation, gay sex. I think there's some streaming video that automatically starts. I can't show you that. Feel free to go and prove it to yourself. If you go to Davey Wavy's uh, YouTube channel, you will, um, and that's not hard, right? Any fifth grader is going to be able to go to YouTube and type in Davey Wavy, and he will come up as the first result. And if you click on his channel, you'll see multiple videos about gay sex. If a child clicks on those videos, they will hear him discuss in graphic detail different elements about how to have gay sex. Okay, let's go to a Rochester, John Marshall High School. Now here we have, their, we're at their library media center. The address says we are at the Rochester Schools Academics Library Media Center. They have Mac and Via, which is a, a digital portal for books, audiobooks, and databases. I'll show you more about that later, but I don't have a, a login for that one. So we went to the library catalog, search for books at the Library Media Center. And 
that took us here. And here you go, right here on the right side, you see the ELM, the e-library system. Okay, so we clicked on that. And we're back at the e-library Minnesota system. This time we're on the high school tab and we go to Explora Teams. You can see this looks like the page is designed a little more for teenagers. We typed in this, hot man on man action and the lesbians who love watching it. I believe, here's the article. You can see it. Uh, it's the source of this article is In the Family, a magazine for lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and their relations. If you scroll down partway through this article, you'll see where to find real lesbian made porn. And see my cursor? These are hot links. So we got Cyber Dyke Network, Perv Girl, that's a hot link right there. Pucker Up is a hot link and sirvideo.com. All right, I'm gonna open a couple of these links and we won't stay on them for very long, okay? So this is Cyber Dyke. This is Pucker Up. It says you have to be 18 to enter. Pretty sure that's what this next link is, the next page. Yeah. Okay, so this is all about lesbian porn. Anal advisor. Okay, so if you hover over these other there's a bunch of sex toys on that one. Stranded in the shower. Want a white eye. Guide to getting the gush. In anal agony. Screamer. Mix, mismatched sex drives and libidos. Fisting in the golden years. I don't think we want to go further, but I think you uh, get the picture on that. I'm going to switch to a different screen now. Okay. All right, so I want to give you a little bit of background here. I jumped right into giving you examples of what we found online when we went to the schools went to their website, went to the, you know, middle school, elementary, high school, and went into their data search. E-library is the electronic library for Minnesota. And so on this page, I've got the, the Department of Education. And so they tell you a little bit about the libraries. It says, you know, you can access it. It's for everybody. Most every public school gives children access to e-library and e-library uses EBSCO. E-library says Explora Kids, which is an EBSCO product, is age appropriate. Explora Kids contains, in their words, elementary school appropriate magazines, encyclopedias, dictionaries, etc. It includes their primary search and middle search databases. That's what we went to and that's what you saw me pull up was through those age appropriate research portals. The ELM is funded by your local library or school media center, Minitax, the state library services with state appropriations, to Minnesota um, Office of Higher Ed and the Department of Education. What I want you to be aware of is if you go to your school and you say this, that this is possible, they will tell you, no, it's not. They may have school filters and those filters block anything that's coming from uh, any porn coming from the internet, but that's not true. The school filters can block Google, Yahoo, <clears throat> or other standard search engines, but once a computer goes to the EBSCO host, 
then it is directed outside of the school the school filter because EBSCO has its own portal. It's not just a database. It is also a portal. And those portals should have filters on them, but they don't. And EBSCO has gotten a lot of pressure. They say they've made improvements, but I just did this search in the last few days so you know that they haven't effectively filtered things out. And I'll show you some more stuff. Well, I don't know, some of that was pretty bad. Okay, if you um, look up eLibrary, here's a 2019 fact sheet. And it, I know this is probably hard to see at the bottom, but it says where the red arrow is pointing, why you should use Explora Kids, because kids can find articles written just for kids and complete research on elementary level topics. Nothing that I pulled up and showed you is elementary level. They say it's unique content and it's beginner reader level encyclopedia articles. They are not effectively filtering inappropriate material from children. The National Center on Sexual Exploitation, NCOS for short, is the leading national organization exposing the links between all forms of sexual exploitation, such as child sexual abuse, prostitution, sex trafficking, and the public health crisis of pornography. This is from their website that I'm reading. And they put out their dirty dozen list. And EBSCO made the list. Uh, I think they've made it for a couple of years. And so they explain here that EBSCO Information Services offers online library resources to public and private schools, K through 12, colleges and universities, et cetera. In its advertising for schools, EBSCO promises fast access to curriculum appropriate content. However, it's Explora, Science Reference Center, Literary Reference Center, and other products sometimes provide easy access to hardcore pornography sites and extremely graphic sexual content, as I had just shown you from those uh, search results. So EBSCO is there, there in the hot seat, we, we know, and uh, they said that they cleaned it up, but they didn't clean it up. And I'm going to show you what still sh shows up, even though EBSCO has said they've improved. EBSCO should be putting filters on all of this. On the website, they list their 2019 update on EBSCO. They cite live links in an article that takes the student to a Russian porn website. This article was identified in 2018. And so I used the same search result here in 2020, and I came up with the same Russian porn site, and this was in their Explorer product. I don't know if you can see the pictures down on the bottom, uh, but I can tell you that that is a Russian porn site. I'm showing you the least offensive stuff. So we went to the Zimmerman High School and we logged into a student's account using Mac and VIA. And Mac and v VIA is a complete e-resource management system. This is their words providing easy access to ebooks, e audio, educational databases, and video. It was intricately designed by Mackin from the ground up with the needs of students, teachers, librarians, and administrators in mind. So once in the Zimmerman High School, this is in a student password uh, account, we went to the Science Reference Center. And so you can see where the red arrows are. Um, that's where we typed in our search term. We typed in this search term. This article comes up called Spanking Natasha, Post-Soviet Pornography and the Internet. So we clicked on that article, it's a PDF. 
And you can see on this slide that within this article down here at the bottom is a live link. You see that? So if you click on that link, it takes you to this page. Uh, every blue box um, that you see on here is graphic material that has been, that I've blocked out. So you don't have to see what your, your children would see um, should they stumble across this. This website shows sexually explicit and violent imagery. EBSCO and eLibrary Minnesota should be blocking this kind of material to all students. Uh, one of the search terms I did was bondage. Um, this article is all about S&M. This one, one in five straight men watches gay sex. Ballet kink, this had to do with an article about a ballet dancer who uses rope bondage. Uh, more about bondage, <clears throat> BDSM. None of this material is appropriate for children. None of it. E-Library and EBSCO are not filtering out sexually explicit material from student research databases. They're just not. And they say they are, and they say it's age appropriate. And your schools are telling you that when your children are in the media center, they're safe. And that the schools are protecting them and they're not. And this has to stop. Found the same thing at the Rochester public schools. This is Marshall. You can see same thing, they use e-library. I went to North St. Paul Maplewood. I went to John Glenn Middle School. I went to all these schools and more. And every, every one of them uses EBSCO. If I couldn't get in because the EBSCO uh, direct link was password protected, I usually could get in through the e-library system. And we tried uh, in Zimmerman and in one of the other schools, we did go through the password protected uh, student account and we were still able to access all this stuff. Went to the Faribault Public School. You can see they have both ELM and EBSCO at their, uh, on their media center. Okay. The Minnesota legislature has oversight of the Department of Education and higher ed. So are they okay with the ease with which children can accidentally or out of curiosity view material that is clearly not age appropriate? Do school boards, do they know about this? Do the administrators know about this? Do they even care about protecting children? Because this is not news around the country. The National Center on Sexual Exploitation has been covering this for a few years with EBSCO. And so why is the Minnesota, why is the Minnesota Department of Education allowing this? Every school district, well, I think most of the school districts that are listed in this presentation, I've expanded it a little bit, are represented by, represented by a state senator who sits on the K-12 Education Committee. Maybe they, Maybe they need to be made aware. Um, this is a problem, folks. We know that the, the culture exposes children to a lot, of, a lot of harmful material. But when your kids go to the public school, you have a right to expect that they are protected there. In fact, the schools are telling you that they are protected there, and they're not. And that's what we've demonstrated tonight. The ELM, Minnesota's Electronic Library, they need to get rid of EBSCO or they need to force EBSCO to put filters on every single library or media center they have an account with in Minnesota. It is their responsibility. That's what we're paying them for as taxpayers. And we need to demand that they do. We're not done researching this. The schools use other data research services and we're going to show you that they are they are also not filtering out harmful material to children please share this video and go to the childprotectionleague.com 
for more information. Uh, and you can see on the bottom of this slide that there is a couple more links. Pornography is not education.org and end sexual exploitation.org for more information on EBSCO. Thanks for watching.